Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stalosa and welcome back to Overanalyze, which is of course our awesome Overwatch coaching series. Now today, we're going to take a look at a Widowmaker player. This is a 2,660 rated Widowmaker player. Now, if you would like to be featured in this series, then do follow the instructions that have been on the screen and send your videos in for consideration. Okay, so... Well, let's get stuck into this because Widow is one of the ultimate skill check heroes. If you do not have the aim, my friend, you should not be playing on Widowmaker. So let's see what happens in this video. So let's go. We're on Ilios. Now, Ilios has an exceptionally awesome point for um, Widow, which is, is Ruins. She's really, really strong on Ruins. I just wanted to pause there, see if we could catch the team comp. But it looks like we've got a we've got a Mercy, we've got a Roadhog, we've got a Winston. We've got a... I think that might be a Tracer out in front there, is it? And uh, you are a Widow. So, let's see what you can do. So, what we're looking to do with Widow is kill the enemy. Like, honestly, kill the enemy. Find the Widow mine and it's fine. I think that might have gone down. No, it didn't quite go down the well. It's triggered, that's cool. We've got a Genji on us. Right, so... Straight away, we've got an issue here with the Genji. That's very nice use of the grappling hook. I was about to say, what we need to be looking at doing there is using the grappling hook to get away. Very nice attempt on the quick scope there. One thing with Widow, if you're getting dived by a Genji and you're not confident with your being able to zoom in and ding those headshots in at point blank range, just go fully auto on him, provided he's not using his deflect, which you did there and you dealt with him. This is great. You're one up. You're basically, you've outperformed the guy who is there to kill you. So that is awesome. And now we're in a decent position, we're just working on it. What I'd like you to do is get the high ground to the right-hand side. You can actually get on top of the lighthouse, like, well, very close to the top of the lighthouse if you grapple and hook up there. It's a very nice position to be in. Like, the enemy team comp, it only really has a Genji to deal with you. I mean, there's, there is a soldier who can press you from range, but we'll have to see. All right, so we are taking some of the high ground, but you can actually get even higher. Like, if I just pause the video here... Um, you can actually get even higher up, up this side of the lighthouse. There's like a little ledge on either side that you can stand on. It's a really nice position to be in. Anyway, we're using Infrasight, which is a really, really good ultimate. Th I mean, this should allow you to just line up headshots all day, but we've lost the point. So, okay, we probably need to be looking at getting the hell out of here. Gr right, one thing you can do here, we're getting dived by a Genji, right? It is... Oh, you know what, let me just play the video, you might do it. You're going to fire your grappling up above yourself so you can sort of slingshot yourself up. No, you're just using it to get out, which is cool. Nice shot. Like you. Mm, I like it. Mm, mm, I like your accuracy. I mean, I can tell by the way that you're actually moving around that you feel quite confident with Widow. Also, no voice chat. Now, I'm, I assume that you're not in voice chat and you're not in group chat because you want to play Widow and you don't want people to go, oh, don't play the Widow. Because uh, I'm not seeing any voice text chat at all. Or any chat off the team. It could just be a silent game. I don't know. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Basically, what you want to... Oh, ooh, you've done it. You've done it. Yeah, this is where I want you to go. This is a very nice position. This is a really, really nice position. So any Widowmakers out there watching, this is a nice position to be in. Obviously, you can't just sit there because everybody's going to fire at you like the Zen's firing at you. You'll probably get Reinhardt fire striking you and all kinds of madness happening. But it's a nice position to be in to just shock them because they won't expect you to be there. When the fight breaks out over the point, you can just start doing damage. What I think I'm looking at here is sort of like effective damage. Um, just firing into the Reinhardt when he was being healed was, was not great. Nice kill off your hog. Ooh, all right, we need to kill that Genji, don't we, really? See, you just fight. No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why were you firing at that Reinhardt when there was a Genji popping his ult that you could have been trying to kill? If you killed him, it would have prevented two deaths there from your team. See, this is the thing with Widow. There's no messing around with Widow. You either land the shots and get the kills, or you don't land the shots, and you do nothing. I mean, that was a nice shot there. That was nice as well. We're getting dived, though, so we might need to do some address here, like maybe fire the grappling. Yeah, 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 and shoot him. I mean, it'd be sweet if you get the kill. Dropping the Venom Mine down as well when you're being dived by Genji is always a good plan, because like, it's odds on that he's going to walk through it. And this it looks quite bad. We could grappling hook out of this, jump off the side and just grappling. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be really frustrating for the Hog. Hog should have killed you then. That was a mistake on his part. So this isn't a bad position to be sitting in. I mean, nice kill on the Genji. You see, you're doing quite well. Like, you are putting work in. You're not communicating with your team, and your team are not communicating with you. And like I said, that, again, beautiful shot. It's like all of a sudden, your target selections become much better. Yeah, there's a fire strike. I knew it, because I do that when I play Reinhardt and I see Widow up there. I'm like, no! I have a fire strike. So, yeah, your target selection was great there. You weren't just focused on the Reinhardt. You thought, okay, who can I actually kill? Because what Widow does is removes enemy players. You do that, your team's going to win the fight. 
Now we're critically injured. We should be saying, guys, I need healing. I need healing, guys. Looks like we're going to back off. Possibly get a health pack. Sounds like Genji's chasing you. Oh, no, if that Venom mine goes... Yeah, so Genji's there. Okay, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? He's deflected, so he... Roadhog saved the day. That's cool. He did land a nice shot on him, though. That's awesome. Okay, so now we should be able to line up quite a few shots. We just don't want to die to Soldier's ulti, but we know where he is, so we should be cool with that. It's okay spamming shots in as well. Like, generally, you want to do the fully charged headshot just to get the instant kill, because um, you're going to do 300 damage to the head, which would instantly kill Soldier and basically every other DPS hero. Um, but it's okay to spam shots when they're so low. Um, like Soldier was, just to make sure you get the kill, which is awesome. So you, you, you know how to play Widow. I think it's just a case of... Well, I don't know. Like, honestly, I don't think this is your fault that you're losing this round. If you even lose it, I mean, you might make a comeback. Nice again. I mean, you're killing Soldier. You can't really ask for more there. Like, Soldier's... You killed Zen. You've killed two people. You need to get on the point, though. <laughs> that is... Really unlucky, because you were about to clutch big style there. You killed three of them, but were just not on the point. That's unlucky. So I don't think there was too much wrong with what you were doing there. I just don't like the complete lack of voice comms. Uh, there was a couple of issues where you should maybe have been shooting Zen. I mean, Zen's such an easy target for um, Widow, because he moves so slow, and he's got a massive hitbox, you can just blow him away. Um, which you kind of did most of the time, but... Yeah, firing into the Reinhardt when you really shouldn't have been is probably the only mistake I've seen there, really. So, pretty good Widowmaker so far. This map is going to... Well, this point on the map is going to be a little bit more difficult to have an impact. Um, but you were fairly okay on Lighthouse, so I'm expecting more of the same sort of thing. What we've got to worry about with Widow is... And, and honestly, this is what I'm worrying about with your rank. You're a Platinum player. This level of accuracy you're showing me, I think is better than Platinum. I can only assume you're losing games because you just relentlessly play Widow. If the enemy maybe get a Winston and maybe uh, the Genji and the Winston repeatedly dive you or they get a Diva and a Winston or something and really go after you, maybe that's when you're not swapping. See, they've got a Diva now, so I'm expecting this Diva to apply pressure to you, but Diva doesn't really seem to be doing anything. In fact, you've killed it, so bye, Diva, bye. But yeah, you held a good position there. You're in the back, you can't really be touched by the enemy, and you're doing damage to them. It's ideal place you want to be. Easy kill on him. Another kill there. You see, it's beautiful. And then, pro go on, finish him off. We've got Genji on us. Uh. So you should use the I need healing emote if you don't really want to use voice chat. But I do recommend that you use voice chat. Because that will highlight you on the map if you spam the I need healing. Uh, and then the healers should be able to see you. So we both know what the problem was there, and everybody watching knows what the problem was. What are you doing on the point? <laughs> what are you Widowmaker, right? The only time you should be on the point was like in the first round when you really needed to be on there to stop the enemy from capturing it. And um, if for some reason you just, well, have to dive on it to maybe save overtime or something. Because if you're standing on the point, you're just going to get wrecked, and you did. See, this is very weird, because you... Again, I've done quite a bit of work, but your team are down like over 40%. We need to maybe regroup here as a team. What, what we're looking to do is just grab high ground, basically, and then use uh, Infrasight and just kill them. Yeah, just use Infrasight and kill them. Genji's priority. He's always going to deflect as soon as he sees you, basically, unless he's used it, which it looks like he has. You see, they're beautiful shots. Like, you've wrecked him again. So now we're a man up, right? We should have a major advantage here. Our team have just got to go in and do work. Diva is a problem. If that Diva dives us, there's not too much we can do about it. Right, so your team are in there, but... Oh, you've got to kill, actually, the Winston has. That bomb, that should be okay. All right, and, and again, you're in a very nice position, because this this spot here is, like, it's hard for them to attack you unless they're going to come at you. But what's happening here? Your team are not capturing the point. You should have went fully auto a little bit earlier on him, because he was so low. Like, if somebody is really low like that, under 10% health, just go fully auto on them. You should be focusing that Genji. He was so low, you might have been able to chase him down and got the kill on him. Like, you could have jumped off, attacked him, and then grappling hooked out of there. See, because what's gone on here is, while you're actually doing work, this isn't Counter-Strike. You have to play the objective, and this is where Widowmaker can really suffer, even if you're playing quite well. Like, I honestly think you are, and you've got a Genji on you, so you need, really need to pay attention to the Genji. You've just, you're just ignoring the fact there's Genji. You know there's Genji on you. 
I guess you're caught in two minds there where it's like, look, we've got, I've got to get onto the point. We're about to lose it. So this is a very eye-opening game so far. What we're seeing here, ladies and gentlemen, is a Widowmaker player who is very good. But the team is losing. And the question is this. Is the team losing because there's a Widowmaker? Mm, it's a very touchy subject, isn't it? Because the Widowmaker is effective, I would argue. Um, but in those moments where the front line on your team is dead and there isn't really anybody to capture the point, the enemy are just standing on the point and the Widow can't really do anything. Anyway, it's time for all of this to change now. This is one of the best points on any map to play Widow. She can do so much work on this map. So I'm, honestly, I'm expecting some magic right now. I, I can't wait to see this because I think you're a good player. I honestly think you're a good player. I just wish that you were in group chat and you spoke to your team a little bit more. So we want to get the high ground straight above us. And we're going to get it now. Yep. So this is where you want to go, basically, Widow. And you just want to chill. And you just want to start taking some shots. Because you're very hard to hit here unless they've got a Widow. Or they're going to get a Winston close to you to jump on you or a Diva or whatever. So basically, it's just a, it's it's honestly just a straight up... Um, I wanted to say gear check. It's not a gear check. This isn't World of Warcraft. It's I've got a Genji on you now. Okay, a bit better. Bit. It's a straight up test of um, how good are you. And you had a load of shots there and you missed. Then we heard Genji. We could hear Genji getting close to us, and it it, it looks like he's just shuriken us in the head and then dashed through us. You, I heard him here, so we knew he was around us. Yeah, so he just basically ran in headshot, slashed us. So we've lost the initial engagement against the Genji, which is not great. Um, so hopefully we can pull this back. Winston's in. We should be able to get the. Yeah, he got deleted. See, there's a lot of misses coming in now. I don't know. Like, what I'm starting to feel is maybe you're a little bit fatigued. Like, the first round was beautiful. Second round was pretty good again off you. Um, and this round, it seems a little bit like it's your weakest round, but it's on your best point of this map. Like, we should have killed that soldier there. We should have just straight up killed him. Just use Infrasight. It's fine using it. Yeah. See, Infrasight is one of those ultimates that comes up a lot, and it's one of those ultimates that you're going to be able to get the kill there now. Oh, it's basically always usable in every situation, unless you're the only person left, in which case that would be stupid, because it gives so much intelligence to the rest of your team. It's so good. Now, uh, like, I kind of want you to take the high ground here and not just remain on the low ground, because you're so vulnerable as Widow when you're on the low ground. You want the high ground advantage as much as possible. And we're losing the fight, and so, yeah, that was a grappling hook fail. And like I was saying, you do want the high ground advantage, but we'd lost the fight. So what you should have done is turned around and fired the grappling hook towards your base and pulled yourself in. See, you've got gold eliminations, you've got gold damage. And yes, there is sometimes an argument of, uh, okay, if you've got gold damage, it might not be that great. You're just firing into barriers. But you've also got gold eliminations. And I don't think you've been playing too bad, to be honest. I just think there's maybe been a bit of lack of follow-through through the team. Um, but also... The, you're not maybe getting the kills in quick enough to allow the team to do what they need to do because Widow can't sit there and miss shots all day because Widow, she's not there on the front line if she is, she's dead whereas like a soldier or somebody else who generally I would honestly say is a better pick for um, lower ranked DPS guys is because he, he can take hits he can heal people he's got get out of jail course and, he, and he's there being disruptive whereas Widow isn't so much and honestly this is really heartbreaking because this looks like you're about to lose yeah, this is uh, this is heartbreaking. This is a three nil defeat. Okay, and they're like lol widow. Okay, let's pause here so we can see, uh, and we'll check play the game as well because it might be you actually because you uh, got a couple of nice kills pretty quick. It might be you on the first point. Anyway, what we're looking at here is your statistics. So twenty eight limbs. I mean, yeah, it's gold. So you pr you're performing the best on the team for limbs. Seven deaths is particularly not great, um, but it's okay. It's not too bad. Uh, 13,000 damage done. Yeah, it's okay. 10 objective kills. That's okay. 58% scoped accuracy. You know, that's fine. You've got a 14 kill streak best. You know, these are, these are acceptable stats. I'd say they're pretty good. But this, I think, has been a really brilliant clip because it has highlighted Widow. Widow can be crazy powerful, but also Widow can be good and nothing can happen because... On King of the Hill, you need to control the point. It's not like 
the payload maps or the hybrid maps where Widow can get one pick or two picks at the start, like let, let's say at the start of King's Row on attack, you get a pick as Widow, well, your team's probably going to win that. It's different on King of the Hill because you have to go in there to the point and the enemy are going to fight on the point a lot of the time. And that means Widow, she's not the best for that. So Widow really has to outperform. This, yeah, this has been quite eye-opening to me. Like I... The Widow here probably would have been better off swapping to something else throughout the game instead of staying on the Widow. But you were being so effective as the Widow, I can kind of see why you did it. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Salo and this is Unit Lost. If you would like to send a video in for consideration for this series, then do follow the instructions that have been on the screen. If you are a Widowmaker player, then do leave advice in the comments below. Remember, be nice, guys. This is all about becoming better players. It's not about laughing at people because they make mistakes, because we all make mistakes, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, I've been Stylos. You can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Gaming, and I will catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.